Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your comments. If you do not subscribe to my channel, please do because I do actually uh, upload weekly and monthly tarot forecast. And if you are interested in additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And of course, if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. Please be sure to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign for these general tarot forecasts to get the most insight. If you do not know what your sun, moon, or rising signs are, I do actually have uh, listed below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So again, I just want to thank you all for your support. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 20th through the 26th. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. So Pisces, if you happen to have a birthday this week, happy birthday. All right, Pisces, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so the Five of Pentacles, Pisces, um, the Five of Pentacles can be someone who is lacking financially or lacking that financial stability. So fives, fives can be a challenging energy. So there could be some Pisces watching this that maybe you feel as though financially, uh, you're not where you want to be. Maybe you feel this lack of financial stability. You just might feel a lack within your life. Now, the, if this isn't on the financial front, this can be feeling a lack of love, a lack of support. Um, there could be some Pisceans watching this that might feel left out in the cold in some way. You might feel abandoned. This is, for me, this is a, a down and out sort of energy. So you could feel down and out. Now, when I just lifted this Five of Pentacles, um, underneath the Five of Pentacles, I do have the King of Pentacles. So this could be, for some of you, this very well could be your boss. Um, or this could be an Earth sign individual, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person that maybe has something to do with this for some of you maybe this is your spouse or your ex this could be someone that you work for this person if this is a character could have something to do with this uh, for some of you this could be the reason why you have this five of pentacles here maybe because of an earth sign person for some of you it could be because of your boss there could be some Pisceans that maybe you're you're waiting to move up with it within the company that you work for um, the overall energy Pisces for the week is actually the Hierophant. And the Hierophant does represent the sign of Taurus. So underneath that Five of Pentacles, we had that King of Pentacles. So there definitely are some Pisceans watching this that maybe a Taurus individual is 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 very significant. Um, but the Hierophant also represents marriage, commitment, more traditional relationships. Uh, the Hierophant for me... Uh, represents large companies, uh, the government, sometimes even legal matters, um, very important documents. Um, so for some Pisceans, this is definitely on the work front. Um, you could be waiting on paperwork. You could be waiting on um, maybe, for some of you, maybe you're trying to land a new job uh, or move up within the company that you, that you work for already. Um, and then for some other Pisces, for a small number of you, I feel like this is on the relationship front. Um, maybe you're in a relationship with an earth sign person. And if not, maybe you're, you want to get married or maybe some of you are married. Um, because a relationship could be very significant here. Um, we have the Hierophant here. I do also have the Ten of Cups here. So for me, this very much can represent marriage, family. This is really, in a sense, having it all. But it is a Ten. And, and Tens do represent cycles that are completing. For some of you, it's almost like you're... For those of you that are relating to these energies on the relationship front, you very well could be making a decision 
or trying to make a decision that is regarding your family or it, it might have something to do with your relationship here with the two of pentacles maybe weighing your options or going back and forth um, weighing the pros and cons when it comes to a particular matter so for some of you this could be you making a decision uh, regarding your family making a decision in regards to your relationship but I definitely see some challenges some challenges around whatever this is because we have the five of cups here underneath the ten of cups so you have two fives here you have that five of pentacles and then you have the five of cups here which this can be you know this could be lost for some of you for some of you maybe you received a decision from your significant other um, this could be you feeling emotionally hurt experiencing a loss for some of you with the five of cups here this can be loss sadness pain heartache um for other piscians it is just a very pessimistic doubtful sort of energy focusing on what you've lost or focusing on the negative side of something focusing on what's taking a long time to manifest for some of you you're waiting on something in particular because we have the seven of pentacles here so you've planted seeds with something in your life and with this five of, of cups here, I feel like you're doubtful. This is you worrying. This is you very doubtful with the five of pentacles, losing your faith, losing faith with whatever this is. Definitely experiencing some challenges with the seven of pentacles. You've devoted a lot of time and energy towards something and this could be re reevaluating. Re I apologize, I can't speak today. You reevaluating what is what it is that you want, or if you want to actually invest any more time and energy into whatever this is. So if this is a relationship that's been having some issues, for some of you, um, this is you maybe figuring out here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles if this is worth you even, you know, investing any more time and energy into this. And then for other Pisceans that this isn't on the relationship front and this is on the job front, it's almost like you've been waiting, you've been planting seeds, maybe you've been very hopeful trying to move up within the company that you work for or you've been trying to land a new job and maybe you've just been uh, a little unlucky with doing that um, so far. But I do think that your luck is going to change. You just need to hang in there. For some of you, you need a more optimistic point of view the Hierophant is is you needing to keep the faith. The Hierophant literally represents um, faith. So you need to, for some of you, you need to rely upon maybe your faith, your faith, your religion, if you're more spiritual, your spirituality. Um, but you need to have faith that everything is going to work out. We have this energy of the sun coming in. And this is a very blessed, beautiful energy. So that for many of you, this is a healing energy. So maybe in the beginning of the week for some Pisceans, it's feeling the energy might feel a little bit more, more challenging in the beginning of the week but then towards the end of the week here this is very positive because we have the energy of the sun coming through and then we have the queen of wands so for some of you this is going to be your energy this particular queen is upbeat she's very optimistic so for some of you we have this really positive energy that's coming through something absolutely could be coming to, to light something could be highlighted or, or maybe literally coming out into the open something could be revealed and it, it's it's very positive so therefore we have this this nice energy shift for some of you this is a more optimistic energy uh, that is coming in for you uh, the queen of wands is incredibly optimistic she's very fiery passionate creative um, so for some of you this is this is going to be your energy um, the sun is success. This is a very blessed energy. Energy. This is success. This is happiness. This is a healing energy. For some of you, I feel like there's children involved in a situation. Again, this could be a marriage. Um, there could be some Pisceans that maybe you're waiting on like a divorce to be final. You could be waiting on maybe um, some documents. There could be children involved, but you need to hang in there. I feel like for some of you at the beginning of the week could feel a little bit more challenged. But then, you know, the energy is shifting uh, towards the end of the week. This is some really beautiful energy that's coming through. For some of you, I can see you've been waiting on something. Maybe you're waiting on a decision um, here because we have the four of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles. And this can be someone who's holding out 
someone who's waiting on receiving, I feel like documents, a decision, a legal decision, or a decision from the company you work for. Maybe it's, it's, it's a legal matter for some other Pisces. This is you holding out. I think this is you waiting on receiving that decision or whatever it is that you're waiting on Pisces. Um, but you need to just hang in there. Um, we have the sun energy that's coming through for you. So for some of you, uh, you could be in the spotlight in some way. If you're a Pisces who has been waiting to move up within the company, um, just continue on working hard, continue on planting those seeds. Um, they will sprout and you will be rewarded for all of that hard work and that effort. Um, Pisces, if, if for those of you who have been working very hard, maybe feeling a lack financially, but the Five of Pentacles, sometimes it can be you feeling a lack even though you're necessarily not lacking. Um, so for some of you, maybe you've just been working very hard, but you feel as though you're not earning enough. Um, just continue on working hard. Um, this could be you in the spotlight in some way with the, the energy of the sun. This is a beautiful energy. Uh, so you could be in the spotlight. You could be shining bright this week, uh, Pisces, especially those, um, you know, within the career um, on the job front. This could be definitely you shining bright. Now for uh, a small number of Pisceans, there could be a fire sign person, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person that's quite significant. For those of you that this isn't your energy, um, there could be a Leo or a fire sign person um, that is very significant, I feel, towards like the second half of the week um, with the sun and the queen of wands. The sun represents the sign of Leo, and then we have the queen of wands here. So this could be a fire sign person who's communicating with you. This could be a friend. Um, maybe some of you are going to be getting together with the Queen of Wands. Um, because with the with the sun here, I feel like this is really, really positive energy. So for those of you that this isn't you, maybe you're hanging out with the Queen of Wands. Maybe this is a friend. Maybe this is a family member. Uh, but this could be you guys getting outdoors. You could be spending some time in the sunshine. Um... Or even healing for those of you that maybe you had something going on with the Queen of Wands. This could be some healing energy coming through for you. All right, so let me pull you an additional guidance card, Pisces, for this upcoming week. Financially, honestly, I don't see it being a bad week. I think that you're very focused. For many of you, you're very focused on your finances. Um, you're very focused on, on your career. For some of you, you've been working very hard, and I feel as though... Um, you know, financially, you want more financial stability. You're really, some of you are trying to maybe move up within the company that you work for. You're trying to land a new job. You've been working very hard in order to do this and just continue on working hard, Pisces. All right, so we do have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and to help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Beautiful. So for some Pisceans... Um, you very well could be a spiritual teacher. Uh, for some of you, you have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. And then we do have Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So you definitely need to have faith. You need to keep the faith this week, especially for those Pisces that are feeling down and out. You need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. For some of you, communication is very important. Maybe you need to communicate with someone. Maybe you need to reach out to someone. Maybe for some Pisces, you need to speak your truth. And uh, But you, you definitely need to hang in there. For some of you, you need to maybe rely upon your... Um, your faith or your spirituality um, this week um, and don't allow insecurities to hold you back so for those of you that feel challenged or are just fearing the worst just hang in there um, put your focus elsewhere it's a great week to spend time with family or friends um, Pisces there's a lot of beautiful energy here with the ten of cups and the sun okay so Pisces, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.